Hey everyone, how's it going? Well, today I just got done making a modification to my headlight switch. Um, it's a problem Mercedes should have took care of when the cars are built, but like many things with many car makers, they slip through the loopholes. And now I'll give you a little backstory about why I'm doing this. A few months ago, I stopped driving the Mercedes and of course I always drive my lights on turn off my lights and I didn't exactly center it so I left the parking lights on for the the right side which normally would have killed the battery but over the course of a month it killed the battery and yeah it's a hundred and sixty dollar battery at least that's what the guy I got the car from said and fortunately it didn't kill the battery but it could have so let me show you what I did so that doesn't happen again <laughs> Such a good idea. And now this is what I did. These are pretty much the only tools you'll need. It's just a screwdriver. And you don't even need wire cutters. The only reason I needed them was to strip some wires. Uh, extra wires. You might need a pair of pliers to um, get the nut off that holds the switch in place. But anyways, pretty much a problem with these cars is here's parking lights, there's headlights, there's off. Well, it's very easy not to get it centered. If it's off just a little bit to the, the left, the parking lights or the right side will be left on. And if you're storing the car, you're going to kill your battery like I did. So I <laughs> ran an extra wire and now... It still works, but it gives you the warning buzzer. And now let me show you how I did it. Uh, well, the knob just pulls off, no big deal. This was just a hand tight on mine. You might need pliers, but mine was just hand tight. Oh yeah. One more thing, I skipped a step. Just unscrew this. I only put this on lightly because I knew I was going to be taking it back off for the video. Anyways, then you just reach behind, pull it off. Be careful not to lose this or break it because it just pops off too. And what I did was I just ran a wire from the these two black wires to the this gray wire that's next to the red wire. That's all I did. Um, the wire didn't cost me anything because I already had to wire the wires from an old turn signal switch from the Ranchero I was working on and I still would like to work on. It's just I ran out of motivation for it. Um, yeah, that's it. I didn't even put an end on uh, little connector finger down. I just twisted the wires and screwed them in place. Normally I do use the ends, but um, usually for much bigger wires, like battery terminal size. So I don't want to buy a box and never use it again. Anyways, that's that, and over and out.